We are now down to the last six games in the Premier League and we are still in the Champions League. We are actually in the quarterfinals of the Champions League and in today's episode we're going to start off by playing the first leg of this quarterfinal against Borussia Dortmund. In the second game we're going to play Bristol in the league. Things started to get really, really hot, man. Hey guys, it's JRD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Rex to Riches, a football manager story. We are here in Birmingham, England with our mighty Aston Villa. And as per my intro, we are down to the last six games in the Prem. Um, basically, today we're going to play Bristol in the Premiership. Then we still have to face Leicester home, Tottenham away, Man City away. Wolves home and Liverpool home so that this makes the title race very very spicy because we're gonna play Man City away um, our direct um, competitors at the time being let's have a look at the competition I mean basically before we actually go there I've played two games off camera we started off away to Brighton and we won 3-1 um, we went down in the 14th minute then we scored in the 19th from by that with Dido scored in the 19th minute, Clements in the 30th and Laurent Silva from a pen in the 74th minute. Then we went away to Burnley and we drew 2-2. Two -two. We went 2-0 down in the 41st and 48th minute, Ronaldo scored in the 72nd minute and Marcelo in the 86th. Obviously in today's episode, I'm going to start off by playing Borussia Dortmund in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Leg 1, we're going to play them home and then... We're going to stay home and receive Bristol, who are currently 18th. So, without further ado, guys, let's have a look at the league table. We are first, but Man City have a game in hand on us. So, if they win their game in hand, they would go one point um, on top of us. So, it's really, really, really tight. Uh, with six games remaining, <clears throat> I don't know, man. I don't know if we can hold it up because the, the fixtures are not in our favor. Having to play Tottenham away. Uh, Man City away, we still have to play Liverpool home, even if though we're going to play them home, it's going to still be a, a battle. So, yeah, um, look at Arsenal, guys. 12th place for Arsenal. Hmm. Not having the best of season. I think they, they, uh, they also fired their manager. Anyway, it's not our business at the end of the day. Our business at the moment are Borussia Dortmund. So uh, we have Dido who is suspended. For this game, so we're gonna put Marcelo on the left flank, um, Lauren Silva behind Clementino and Ottavio, Arieta in the middle of the pitch, who's replacing um, Antonio, who's injured, and I think also Antonio was um, no, actually he was suspended for the second leg against PSV. Antonio got injured and has two to four weeks out. Tenalia on the right flank, Clemens and La Vibora, the fullbacks, Lezao and Williamson in the center of defense during in goal so off we go i don't i don't know what to expect from this match guys honestly i don't know what to expect um i don't know how good borussia dortmund are i mean if they they're in the quarterfinals of the champions league they must be good um i don't know vis-a-vis -vis us compared to us how good they are i don't know I guess the we have to wait for the game to start and see for ourselves if we uh, can hold up to Borussia Dortmund, basically. Uh, I predict a, uh, a balanced game. To be honest, hopefully it's, it's going to be a balanced game, not like lose 3 or 4 nil. And... <laughs> Yeah, we, got, we, we get eliminated in the first leg rather than play it off in the second leg away. So, game on, guys. Three minutes, first highlight. Williamson with a free kick. Obviously, we're the Reds. They are the Yellows. Clementino with an early chance. Clementino. And the keeper, Livakovic, saves it into a corner. Laurent Silva taking the corner, crosses it in. They clear it out. We're first on the ball with Arieta, end of highlight. 
I'm uh, hopeful that Arietta comes out with a good game. Um, I We didn't give him too much space. Obviously, he was on loan for the first half of the season. Then I called him back because we uh, saw Turnbull. Come on, come on, come on, Marcel! And the yet another save from Livakovic. He's turning out to be a good keeper, or at least he's having a good game up to now. The corner, the header goes over the bar. Come on, we're not playing bad. We're not playing bad, guys. So let's encourage the players. Um, another corner, Laurent Silva again. Obviously, usually Dido takes the corners, but obviously Dido is not playing today. So, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, regain possession here. Or if it's going to be a Borussia Dortmund highlight. Antic. Laurent Silva's piling up pressure. Antic again. Barrow. Okay, we clear it. Silva can start the counter attack now. Gives it to Otavio, who dribbles past his first opponent, enters the box. Second. Oh, another save. Another great save from Livakovic. Laurent Silva again with the corner. We had multiple corners. Clements with the header sends it over the bar. I mean, definitely we're playing better than them. Highlight. Throw in for Borussia Dortmund. Lovely vision pass there, and they score. Juan Luis opens the score for Dortmund. Against the flow of the game, guys, because basically it's their first highlight, first shot, probably. We slapped there a bit. And it costed us real, real, real. Come on. Kick of highlight. They intercept the pass and now Marcos running towards goal. He gets past his first opponent. He shoots and Duran saves it into a corner. Come on, boys. Come on, man. Marcos Antonio. I think it's Marcos Antonio. Goes for the corner. We clear it. Juan Luis, the scorer of the goal. Loses possession there. And now Otavio on the right. He needs to get past at least one opponent. He enters the box. He tries to cross it in. The cross gets blocked. Otavio again with a second cross. They clear it. We're still piling pressure though. Vibora. End of highlight. I hate it when the game just does this, man. Like in the middle of a... The highlight, it stops it abruptly. I hate it. Come on. Five shots on target for us, three for them. We're edging ball possession with 53%, but they are they they scored and we didn't. <laughs> so that's what counts, really. So I'm far from pleased. Go out and uh, grab a win for us. Come on. Penalia is not having a good game. He's on 6.4. First highlight of the second half. Borussia Dortmund are on the attack here. Another lovely pass to Silva. Silva enters the box. He shoots. Duran saves it into a corner. 50 minutes on the clock, guys. We need to score. Clementino can start the counter attack now. It's two against two. Clementino. Keeps on. Ah, come on, man. You could have done much better there. Ah. Arieta to Vibora. Enters the box. Dribbles past his first opponent. He shoots. Easy for Livakovic. Straight into his hands. Um, Hang on a sec. Tanalia needs to be removed. So let's put Aldo in. Aldo who scored against uh, Burnley. I've played him. I've, I've put him in as an attacker. In the second half. Highlight. Come on Clements with the throw in. Obviously we lose the throw in. But we gain possession again. Nice. Come on. Come on. Ooh. That's not the end of the highlight, I guess, right? Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go at them again. Come on. Oh, nice. Come on this time. Otavio can't miss, but he does miss. Do it. And uh, let's hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's pause a bit. Um, I'm going to put Gellert on for Marcelo here. Some fresh legs. Come on, guys. At least a draw, man. We had our chances with 11 shots on target, guys. I mean, I'm sure we had a few clear-cut chances as well. Don't tell me I'm going to concede again. It's a pen. There's no way if they score here. There's no way we're coming back from this. We need to win away 3-0, guys, if they score this pen. And they do score it. And they do score it. Well, even if we... Highly. Let's, let's go and score at least a goal, guys. Come on. Come on, Silva. Come on, shoot! There it is. Come on. Maybe it was a... It's a little too late, but I feel we could have done much better in this game. But that keeps our hopes up, alive. Give us a highlight game, come on. One last highlight. No. 2-1. That means we need to win 2-0 away now at Dortmund. It's going to be a humongous task, guys. A humongous task task and i'm not happy because we had our chances man we had our chances we've been clumsy very clumsy apart from the fact that their keeper played the game of his life basically <laughs> but anyway it's not gonna be easy but um we've got other business to attend to and to attend to not to attend to <laughs> And that's uh, Bristol in the next Prem game. So let's go. Let's do it. We're seconds away from the Bristol game, guys. And so the game we played against Dortmund, we played it like three football manager days ago. And now in another three football manager days, we're going to play against Dortmund again. So I need to rotate a few players um, because if you see look fitness is not good fitness is not good fitness is not good so i need to rotate although it's not ideal to rotate because we still need to win the game against bristol but bristol are eight, on eight in uh, at the 18th in like bottom of the league so i think if we do some rotation it's not gonna it's not gonna affect us that much um we'll see it's always a gamble when you rotate a lot of players but i need to rotate man so let's start off by the way Sutton is back so we can play Sutton on the left and give daido a bit of a rest um i'm gonna put ostigard on the left as a fullback i also gonna put in crazy and Hermogenes in this in the heart of defense bergs we're gonna be on the la on the right aldo will replace tanalia i'm gonna put also bogert because arieta has to play in the champions league so bogert will be in um in the center of the pitch um who else who else uh marcelo will replace silva and uh I'm gonna play Gellarth instead of Clementino. Basically, I'm rotating the whole squad apart from the keeper. And also, also, I want Christian to replace Luis Octavio. It's not ideal. Again, it's not ideal. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna clear the subs and make sure that I have um, my big guns on the sub bench. So, Vibora, Clements, um, Silva. Leo Zhao, uh, Daido, 
Otavio. And who else? Who else shall I put in? Mm, I'm gonna put in Grealish because he can cover a lot of um, positions. Hopefully we can win this, although we're playing with our B team. Because it's very important that we keep on winning these last few games left in the Prem. Because we're still in the run of clinching the title, guys. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, good luck, everybody. Um, what shall I say? Come on. I'm always, like, hesitant to, to tell them that we should win this comfortably because of complacency. But I don't know. I guess that was the recommendation of my assistant manager. I don't usually trust my assistant managers, but <laughs> we'll see. Come on. Game on. Ostergaard with his uh, with halo card in the seventh minute. Let's encourage the lads for now. Because we haven't seen anything from them. Not even a shot. Look. No. Berks to Christian. Christian turns around, crosses it in. They clear it. Bogart. Come on, nice one, Christian. Christian. Oh, it's not over yet, though, Aldo. Bogart. Shoot, man. What are you waiting for there, Bogart? He had all the time in the world to shoot. Free kick, Marcelo. Gellert! It's on. It's on. We take the lead. Come on. Man City took the lead away to Bournemouth. 1-0. Obviously, we depend on us, but we also depend on Man City dropping points. Another highlight. 25 minutes into the game. Berks has it covered. Finds Aldo on the right, who gives it to Bogert. Bogert has his past intercepted, and now Hughes can start over. For Bristol, Aldo gets the ball back for us. And now Marcelo, Marcelo tries to find Gellard. He does, Gellard, Christian back to Gellard. And what a amazing piece of attack there. Amazing passing, guys. Amazing passes. Look at that. Marcelo finds Gellard. It wasn't easy because Gellard was like between two opponents. Gellard gives it to Christian. Christian gives it back to him immediately and Gellard finds in, finds the far post, beats the keeper and we take a tunnel lead. Marcelo with the corner, Ostegaard with the header, come on! Somehow the ball got in. Okay, an own goal from Thierry Berger. Cheers, mate. We owe you a beer. Let's have a look. Okay, so this game is basically written off now. Let's praise the guys. That's what I was hoping for. A good start. Like, you know, so, uh, and like this, all the players have been rested, basically, which is good. Aldo finds Christian. Christian turns around, tries the cross. Christian again to Sutton. And Byron Sutton. Comes back after a four and a half month injury and puts himself on the score sheet. What a way to come back. Well done, Sutton. Well done. Bournemouth, we confide in you. Come on. Bournemouth gave us hard time. I think we lost to Bournemouth or we drew away. Another header from Aldo this time. Goes over the bar. 4-0. 40 minutes in. Like, we are smashing them, guys. We are smashing them. Which is good. Let's keep on putting pressure. Christian, Christian. 5-0. 14th goal of the season for Christian. Remember, Christian signed for us. Well, he will sign for us in summer, permanently, from Inter. 22.5 mil we got him. Four. So, it's a bargain. Let's praise them. Let's skip it. And, yeah. Marcelo's tired. Hopefully, he can have a 15-minute rest now in between halves. 
and then he can oh, oh. okay good save Durin well done son three minutes of injury time in the first half they have a corner we clear it Walsh first on the ball they lose possession there for a second there could have been a good opportunity for a counter attack but no fry on the left needs to get past aldo he doesn't which is good okay so the end of the first half here well done nice and easy four nil up five nil up <laughs> i lost count <laughs> so i'm delighted let's go marcelo is yeah it's okay come on let's not uh, let's go balanced now maybe we can spare some energy the shot was saved by Duran to a corner there Man City double their tally against Bournemouth anyway we still have it to play Man City away which is gonna be a big battle Berta's arguing with the whole village at the moment I don't know if you can hear her barking but she's arguing she's barking at the whole village at the moment she's in the terrace she loves being in the terrace but uh, she hates people going like walking underneath so every time someone walks by she barks the hell out of <laughs> the hell out of them anyway man united are leading 3-0 against everton city are still leading 2-0 well actually 2-1 bournemouth got one back come on bournemouth come on uh, marcelo i'm gonna keep marcelo for now come on gellart there's the hat trick no it doesn't stand so marcelo out um i'm gonna put Grealish. This allowed. This allowed. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need to see it again. It's fine. Sutton got injured again. Gellert loses the ball. We regain it. Sutton again. Plays it on Bogart. Lovely pass from Bogart to Christian. And Christian with a brace. 15 goals this season for Christian. Well done. Considering he didn't play a lot. It's a good tally for him. Well, all our attackers scored loads of goals. Even Gellard. Like, they're all in double figures. And it's 6-0, guys. Do it. 6-0. Let's praise them. There isn't actually the need, but you know, it's always nice to praise the guys, yeah. Uh 3-1 Man City. So they close it off. They still have a game in hand on us though. Easy pieces, six nil with our beating, guys. Which is quite good to be honest. I wasn't expecting a six nil win, honestly not with our B team but um, yeah we've performed well Sutton injured for three days Dido close to triggering claws Jesus Christ so what um, Dido is now five appearances away from making 50 appearances we will trigger a transfer clause that was part of his move from Man United if triggered Aston Villa will have to pay 20 mil hmm. let's have a look at finances finances are still good I guess we're uh, we're overspending on um, on the wage budget um, but I think we still have like 60, 70 mil in the bank. Let's have a look. It takes a bit. Yeah. Yeah, 80 mil on the bank, in the bank. Um, we're overspending like by 200k on the wage budget. But 20 million will not hurt our back. Well, I prefer not spending them, but it's fine. It's fine. So, guys, in the next episode, it's going to be Borussia Dortmund away. And we need to win at least 2-0. 
and then we're gonna receive Leicester home in the Premiership. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jared Deant. Until next time, stay safe and bye-bye.